Jessica? Uh, good morning, Daddy. Uh, how would you like your eggs? You making breakfast? Mm -hmm. No bacon for me, but I made some for you and Noah. Jessica, honey, this is great. Even better is having you home, away from that scum spike. I'm just glad to be back with the people I love. And who love you. <laughs> is Noah? I, I don't know. I've been in the kitchen. Well, go get him. Tell him breakfast is ready. Sam? Uh, don't bother. Noah's not home. How do you know? I found that over at the B&B when I was picking up some bills. Ivy, what are you doing back here? Please. Ivy's really been helping me out. What did he say? <sighs> Said he's leaving town and he's not coming back. What? Why would he leave? To protect you all from retaliation by people he and Fancy crossed in Las Vegas. I don't know. Good morning, all. Christine and I came to see Noah. Is it Christine? Are you allergic? No. We just aren't used to having celebrities in our house. <sighs> well, Fancy is hardly a celebrity. Are you kidding? I see her picture in magazines all the time. And your dog, too. <laughs> Christine is the real celebrity. Yes, you are. <laughs> Fancy, remember when I pulled you over way back when for speeding and driving without a license? It's hard getting a license when you're underage. Plus, I kept forgetting that the states have speed limits. In parts of Europe, they don't, you know. Europe? How chic. <laughs> so could you tell Noah I'm here? No, um, that won't be possible. Seems that Noah's left town. You wouldn't know why, would you? Noah's gone? Yeah, he left us to snow. Couldn't get into specifics, but he said it was better that uh, he wasn't around, all of us. Oh. Do you know what's going on? I mean, is Noah in some kind of trouble? I really can't say. Can't or won't? Excuse me? Are you sure you don't know why Noah left the way he did? Just because you have some on-again, off-again thing going with my mother doesn't mean you can grill me like some criminal, Mr. Bennett. Fancy, don't talk to Sam that way. If you hadn't complained to Alistair about Noah, Sam would still have his job as chief of police. I'm sorry my grandfather had you fired. I felt just awful about it. I still do. I even asked grandfather to have you rehired, but he won't do it. Well, thanks, both for the apology and for trying to get my job back. But if you'll excuse me, I'm going to call Noah and see if I can convince him to come home. Uh, can I speak to Noah if you get a hold of him? I really want him back here with us. Absolutely, sweetheart. Come on. No luck reaching Noah? No, he's not answering his cell phone. No cop on the force will still talk to me has seen him either. I'm so sorry, Sam. Me too, Daddy. I just don't know why Noah would take off like that. It's a good question. Maybe he'll come back. I hope so. Jessica's back with us now, safe and sound, and Noah should be too. I was getting used to having him around. <sighs> Miss him already. So do I. <laughs> Jessica, I know what having Noah back home meant to you, you know? Just a little squirt. Listen, uh, let's go in the other room and try calling Noah again on his cell phone. Yeah, good idea. Oh, Fancy, nice to meet you. Maybe we can go shopping sometime. I'd like that. <laughs> if we hear from Noah, we'll, uh, we'll let you know. Thanks, Mr. Bennett. It's my fault Noah's gone. <laughs>